So today we're going to look at the serve. We've looked at it briefly already if you check videos 12 and 13. Looked at 1-2 uh, rhythm on the serve and also the serving stances, um, i.e. how to place your feet. But today is about that important topic which is the grip for the serve. Now a lot of people get away with just putting their hand behind the racket and serving something like this and doing it reasonably well. But the conventional serve grip will allow you to hit with different spins and also to get a lot more power. To find that grip, simply hold your racket like this, steady it in the other hand, and then slide your hand down onto the grip and you'll have a nice solid service grip right there. So what tends to happen when you're using this grip and you're not that used to it is people say, oh, it feels strange, weird, weak, and when they try and hit with it, the ball tends to spin off to the left and down into the ground for the right-handers and vice versa for the left-handers. So, Joseph, you've never used a normal grip on the serve, have you, the proper grip? No. Well, let's give it a go. Thank you. So the reason that happens is because the arm isn't doing the correct movement through the service motion in order for the grip to work. So the solution is very simple, to understand what that correct movement is that then allows the grip to function and then practicing it a lot. I like to call this movement the complete high five because when you hit the ball it's a little bit like the racket giving the ball a high five but it's also very important that that movement is allowed to continue after the ball has left the racket. Let's have a look at the slow-mos and see it in good detail. Here's Dennis Kudler who had an excellent grass court season this year. As we see the racket starting to move up to the ball notice how the side that will hit the ball is facing to the left. Then the high five movement starts as we see the racket high five the ball at contact and then after contact the high five movement continues and the hitting face now faces right. And here's Britain's Naomi Brody at the Surbiton Challenger and we can see the same thing going on. And finally, Ryan Harrison. Of course, the proper term for this movement is pronation, but that's a boring word, and kids especially just can't relate to it. So, the most important thing to understand with this complete high five movement is, is that it's driven from the shoulder. If you try to do this with your wrist or your forearm, the swing will be less efficient, you'll lose power and spin as a result, and you might even risk getting injured. During this movement, the whole arm rotates from the shoulder. Let's have a look at that on the slow-mo in really clear detail. Here's Stan Vavrinka's serve in super slow-mo. Have a look in the blue circle, notice some muscles in his arm and how the whole arm rotates as a unit from the shoulder. So now you understand the correct movement of the arm through the service motion, how do we get better at it? Well, for starting point, the best way is to do lots of shadow strokes. Shadow the swing without the ball, just to get a really good feel of what it's like, how it feels, and that way you'll start to get more comfortable with it. When you introduce balls, it's important to keep your focus on the shadow stroke. So throw the ball up, but imagine you're still doing another shadow stroke, that way your focus will stay on doing that correct movement during the service motion. If you want to really check how good it's going, you'll need the video because the human eye just can't accurately pick up what goes on during that movement because it happens too fast. One common problem when you're using this grip and you're not that comfortable with it is that halfway through the service motion, the grip slips back to more behind the racket. There's a one very easy way to fix that if that's happening to you or any of the students that you teach. Simply put the correct grip on the racket and hold the thumb down with one of your fingers and then it will be impossible for that grip to slip during the service motion. As always, thanks for watching the video. Do remember I'm now on Twitter, so if you have a Twitter account, do uh, follow me at NickWTennis and also share and like the videos and leave comments on the YouTube page if you'd like to. Now, you may remember 
a couple of months ago, Marcus Willis hit a 111 on this very speed gun. Uh, next video, we're going to look at Zeno Serve. I can't imagine there's too many other 16-year-olds in the country that have as powerful a serve as he does. So he's going to have a go at beating that 111 on this machine, and we're going to see where all that power comes from. So find out what happens on the next video.